December 24, Tuesday of the Late Advent Weekdays A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hand of enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from an eye shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Zechariah sees in the birth of his child the powerful hand of God who is bent on saving his people Israel. The priest in the temple is interested not only in the religious matters but also in political ones. He senses that the birth of his son has political implications. Zechariah is one of those pious Israelites who loved the promised land. He dreams of the liberation of their nation Israel still under Roman domination. The whole nation led by the priests have long prayed for salvation and deliverance from their enemies and from foreign powers. The whole nation, led by the priests, have long prayed for salvation and deliverance from their enemies and from foreign powers. The Savior is not his son John, but Jesus. Zechariah, in his canticle, considers his child as the prophet who will prepare for the coming of Jesus, the power of God to destroy Israel's enemies. <music> 